trace, uh, you know, just speak to the unselfishness that you were able to demonstrate tonight and what your teammates were doing to create those opportunities for you to kind of recognize the double teams and, and, and cut off of them to a point where you can find them? Um, in all honesty, um, it was just we were out there and we were talking, and my teammates were talking to me and telling me I was probably like a true wizard, like the Wizard of Oz almost. And so um, just overall, um, they did a great job in just getting the ball, and especially in Builder School, Trey hitting big shots after big shots, and then Race and Scoop coming to the basket. I mean, um, overall, it was just a great response from the Rutgers game, and um, I thought we had a lot of movement that we didn't have in our last game. And so it was a way to respond, and yeah, that's that. Zach? Trey, um, you've played with Trace for a couple of years now. Um, how have you seen him improve, I guess, basically, in terms of commanding the floor when he's got the ball, knowing when to attack, when to pass out of the double, how to pass out of the double, just being able to be the kind of player that can get the points, but also 10 assists in a game? Yeah, I mean, I think each year he's just gotten better and better, but I think just the, the biggest thing is his unselfishness and his, his willingness to pass. And I think it's, that's a big part because, I mean, he knows he can score, and obviously teams are trying to take that away. Um, now because he, he can score at such a high rate. So I think just him being able to pass out a double and make plays for others has been just really special for us and our group. And I think we got to continue to um, make shots when he's getting double teamed because they got to leave us to go get him. So we're hoping to knock him down and, and then they can't double and he goes to work. So, Mike? Trey, you, you've been getting questions for us for a while about, about your jump shot and all the work you did over the summer to improve it. I guess how rewarding is it to, to have a night tonight like tonight, especially when your team needed it specifically? I mean, it's good. Um, I mean, just like I said, steady repetition that I've been trying to focus on and the game like shots and just being ready to shoot it and knock it down when it, um, when it comes out to me. I think just having that confidence and keep building that confidence and have my teammates pick me up on. Not as as well. It's been great. So just keep an eye out. Tyler, Trey, I guess um, during the off season over the summer stuff like that, did you have a regiment shooting wise in terms of you're trying to hit this many shots, or what all kind of went in behind the scenes in terms of you just trying to improve your shot? Um, I mean, I I did a lot of time just shooting because I was out with my groin injury, so I couldn't really move much, and a lot of it was just stationary shooting and just repetition the same thing over and over again and try and just shoot the same way every time. So I think just that alone really helped. Um, and, I mean, not changing much, but just doing doing the things I needed to do to help my shot. Trey, how different did your preparation maybe make this game <laughs> compared to Rutgers when it might have been more of a last minute change knowing that Jalen was out, but going into today knowing that you probably were going to carry that more of a heavy burden? Yeah. I mean, Obviously, with Jalen out, it changes a lot of things. I mean, he plays a lot of minutes, so we knew that we're going to have to step up a little bit um, and play more minutes. And I think all of the guards really did a great job of um, stepping in there and playing at a, with a higher role. And I think just with extended minutes, we got to keep our intensity, same focus the whole time um, with the defense. Trace, uh, being here for four years, being from Indiana, as you climb the record books and you put your name with the triple doubles, what do these moments mean to you when you're kind of cementing your legacy at IU? Um, just um, honestly, just solidifies why I came back. Um, I came back to do big things, um, not only well, not only individually but with the team too, and um, we have high aspirations this year. And so, um, just continue to just play my hardest every game and play for my teammates and um, the man above, and that's what I'm going to do. And um, just moments like that make it special. To Kind of is a reminder why I came back, especially when the times are getting tough, especially in practice and stuff like that. When you're like, you're just um, down on yourself sometimes and things that, and then you get bright moments like this. Last question, Seth. Trace, obviously with Jalen out tonight and a tougher night for X tonight, to get the kind of game that you have from Trey and from tomorrow off the bench, just how much, of, how big of a difference does that make? Um, Trey and tomorrow, I mean, um, we we didn't have a good game against Rutgers, honestly, and so uh, they obviously took that with a little chip on their shoulder coming into this game. That's not how we play basketball. And Coach Woodson was kind of telling us before the game we got to get tougher. And so um, I think they took that to heart. And uh, they played with the chip on their shoulder this game and played with a lot of confidence. And that's what we need from them. Thanks, guys. May the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs>